Welcome back modders. Today, we're going to show you some female armor mods. Are you ready? Let's do this. First off, we have Blade Dancer's Edge by Guam Puja. I think that's how you pronounce that name. But I quite like this mod. It's kind of like a knight mod. It doesn't have any helmet in this mod, but it's like full plate other than like the butt area region. And the only thing I don't really like about this mod is like the boobs. <laughs> the boobs just stick out, just like absolutely crazy, like you can see there. It's kind of nuts looking. But other than that, the mod is very great. It's like a full plate mod for a female character. I think it does look great. But you can also mix and match this with other mods because this mod has like 10 different uh, armor pieces. You can select like your shoulders, your greaves, your legs, your boots, your waist cloth, all that kind of stuff. Which I quite enjoy because most mods just have like the full outfit and that's pretty much it. But this has like 10 different armor pieces you can select and pieces you don't want to equip and some like you can. It's completely up to you. So you can kind of customize it slightly. But it's a nice little mod for a female character. And I quite like this with my elven character. I think it perfectly fits her quite well. Next up is the Drifter Armor by X Studio. Now this is kind of an armor that doesn't really look law friendly, but I think it does kind of fit quite well into this game. Some people may say it doesn't look law friendly because of the shirt area here, but I think it is a nice little armor. It's more of like clothing than armor. So you can get one piece that is clothing, and then you can get a second piece that is like a half armor, half clothing, which is just the pants. And then you get like the second half, which is kind of like cloven with a bit of like plated shoulders and a plated neck bit. But other than that, it's a quite nice little armor mod for casual wear, I'd say, and just adventuring around. Because you'd probably wear this if you was in the cities and stuff, just while you're chilling out and not adventuring. But then if you was adventuring, you'd put something on a bit more heavy, like a full plate armor like the one we showed previously. But it is quite a nice little armor. I mean, if you like big bums and stuff, it like, will show out on this armor quite well. So if you're into that kind of thing, you will enjoy this armor. So yeah, this is what I mean with the plate shoulders and the top, which is kind of like chain mail. But the pants do stay the same with the second variant. But it is quite a, quite a nice little armor mod for a female character just chilling out in. But you can change the boots, which you can get like high-waisted boots, which are kind of like uh, for the uh, cold regions with fur on them. But you can just have the normal boots and then you can have the fingerless gloves. Weirdly enough though, there is another set of gloves that are very oversized. So I didn't show them in this because they do look very stupid. So I just put on the fingerless gloves instead. So I think this is a nice little mod for adventuring, just chilling out in the cities. And then obviously you change it to an armor piece that is more heavy for the cities. So you don't get stabbed up as much. And I feel like the best kind of class for a character to use these armor clothing or armor mods. It's probably an arch. I feel like it looks quite, uh, quite great with a bow and arrow. So if you have a bow and arrow character, this would probably look quite great with that uh, kind of character. Or maybe like a double-handed dagger kind of character. That's probably what I'd say. Maybe nothing too heavy, but from what I can see, it looks quite good with the uh, bow and arrow. So I'd probably say go with that. Now we have the Valenwood Ranger by Wooden Knight. So this is more of like a wood elf kind of character to go with uh, this armor mod. So it looks absolutely great in the wilderness, this armor. So it's a light armor that my character, which is a, uh, not a wood elf, but a high elf, but she doesn't really look like a high elf, but it looks very good with this armor piece. So, I mean, you can use any kind of race with this armor, but I feel like the elves look the best with it and it kind of goes with it. From what I remember, Valenwood is the area where the wood elves live. So using a wood elf just fits into this armor piece, absolutely great. So you get a bow and arrow arrows and you get the whole armor piece i mean it is kind of skimpy but it's not that bad compared to the other mods on this video the other one's a hell of a lot more skimpy than this but if you're looking at a elven kind of character one that's an elf and does a lot of archery this will probably go great with that because as you can see this looks absolutely amazing with a bow and arrow elf character and the green on the armor goes so well with parts of the world in skyrim like near fault grief because fault grief has a lot of woodlands area so you will camouflage into the trees, which is absolutely amazing. So if you want to play a bit of stealth, then this armor will go quite well with that. Because you will just blend in with the environment. Now we have Fleet Knight by AHZ Mods. So this mod is pretty much a skimpy kind of mod. You can 
fully customize this mod by changing all the armor pieces like your shoulders your arms your legs your breastplate and there's like 10 different variants of breastplate with 10 variants of colors but i'm gonna go with the black color no the blue color actually but it's not that bad here because i've got all the pieces equipped but you can unequip certain areas like the backside and the front so basically your boobs are hanging out and your ass is hanging out and if you take the skirt off your woman's ass is completely defined because they're wearing essentially yoga pants which is not very law friendly but if you equip all the armor pieces it does look quite law friendly so it's kind of like another night mod but with less armor on it which i kind of think looks quite great with my character i mean i'm not really one for skimpy stuff but yeah and there's hdt smp physics on the skirt as well which is great because every armor with that kind of physics is just so much better and it makes it feel that much more next gen because none of the vanilla skyrim armors actually have hdt smp meaning the clothes move when your character moves which most modern games have nowadays and it also includes i think there's three variants of helmets so you have one that's open one that's closed and then one where you can't see your eye, eye slots through the helmet so then you can't literally see your eyes that's pretty much it but it's a nice little armor mod and it's great for any kind of race any kind of character and it's just great for adventuring this is another chest piece that i didn't really like the look of so i'm going to show it anyway but I didn't really like the look of it. And you also get a saber on the side, like little uh, accessories to add to the armor, which that's how it's up to you if you don't like that kind of thing. And people say not law friendly, but it kind of adds to that fantasy style because a lot of fantasy games have these kind of armors. So we're just trying to make Skyrim into a complete different game. Finally, my favorite, the Wayward Knight set by AHZ Mods. I think this is again, the same author. This is definitely my favorite armor in the entire of all the mods on Nexus. I've completely loved this one. So it's like half skimpy, half not. I mean, the skirt is somewhat skimpy, but the armor isn't. So it's like half metal, half not. And I think it just looks absolutely amazing for any kind of character in Skyrim for a female character anyway. You'd look kind of weird with the male character. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing, it's completely up to you. But for my female character, this is my go-to mod. I absolutely love it. It just looks so well and it fits in so well to Skyrim. And every class I've used, even an orc class, it looks absolutely amazing with. So it's one of my favourites and you get multiple selections of different outfit choices. So you get one where there is no metal uh, breastplate on the front and it's just like clothing. And I think you can get one where it's like slightly raised. So your belly's hanging out and you can have uh, pretty much different shoulder pieces, different uh, van braces, stuff like that. And a great selection of colours, you've got blue, white, black, red, there's just so many ch uh, colours to choose from. And it also includes like three different helmets with like a little pom-pom thing on top that is HDT SMP as well, which is awesome. And the skirt is also HDT SMP, which I'm going to show you in a second. And HDT SMP is just absolutely amazing for any armour mod nowadays for Skyrim because it just makes it more next gen. I mean, every single armour piece that comes out for Skyrim, a mod anyway, should have these physics because it just makes it feel so much more new, like a complete modern game. Because, like I said previously, none of the vanilla armors in the game have any physics whatsoever in the armour. So these are the helmets, so the helmets are quite enjoy. And the little pom-pom thing on top so you kind of look like some sort of like mongol with a little feather on top but that also moves when your character moves which is absolutely great anyways guys thank you for watching so this was like five or six female armor mods i will be doing more i think my next mod video probably will be another city if you comment down below i will do a city of a choice but i've got another city lined up already it's just in the works it takes me a while to do them ones because there's like 30 odd mods in each video well like this video comment down below and make sure you subscribe for more modern content and other content as well mainly mods because i do love showing you off some great mods that the uh, people make on the nexus so see you guys later adios